What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between you? It's I, Neon Emiwe, and I am here to present you with some greatness. It's that time again. It's everyone's favorite time, and by everyone, I mean only a few of y'all because these videos don't do that many much of views, but you know, it's fine, whatever. It's cool. I'm gonna still do it. Today, it's time to do another dub box unboxing. If you guys are familiar, I do these. Unboxings of D Box subscription box by Fashion Stud, and um, we're gonna get into all the gig of the Beauty and the Men's box. So, content. Hi, if it's your first time here, then hello, welcome. My name is Darius, also known as Neon, also known as Neon Anyway, also known as Great Value Frank Ocean. This is probably the last time y'all gonna hear me call myself a Great Value Frank Ocean because I'm, I'm feeling a different vibe for 2021. Yes, I am that type of gay that changes up his appearance and everything for the new year. See I make YouTube videos, YouTube videos about makeup, some things about fashion here and there, some things about makeup here, or music, whatever. I make videos, y'all know what I do on my channel. But um, if you don't, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I upload. So you can find out what it is that I do over here because it's a lot. Also, if at any point during this video you are enjoying yourself and enjoying me and the content that I'm creating, then go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up like and support as well because it means so much to small black beauty creators like me. And without further ado, we're going to get right into this video of me unboxing the December box of The Box from Fashion Stud and Fashion Stud Men. So, let's go. It's one of them nights. It's one of them nights. I feel it. It's one of them nights. No ambition. So in case you guys are new here, haven't watched one of these videos, stop what you're doing. Literally go subscribe to my channel. I'm not gonna go subscribe to my channel. Watch the last of the other video. There's literally a playlist icon up here. But yes, in case you are new here, I do these unboxings of the box by Fashion Stuff. The box is a monthly subscription box provided by Fashion Stuff where you get up to five to seven products a month for $150 retail value or more as we've seen in the past for only $24.99 that also includes free shipping so every month you get a whole bunch of goodies full size products might I add not the travel size or the demo size or whatever like these are full size products so like you get in the work these products can range from anything from beauty skin care the men's box ranges from like skin care to hair care everything we've seen a lot of different things here in these boxes and so Today we're going to be in the year with the end of year, end of year box from the box from the end of the year. As always, there are two boxes that we are going to be unboxing today. There is a men's box and there's a beauty box. So, we're going to start with the beauty box. This is the Holiday Gratitude box. So, obviously, you know, it's the end of the year. Um, holidays are going around, Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, New Year's. Um, so, this is just like fashion's this way of like, getting a bunch of bot or goodies for everyone to enjoy for the end of the year going into the new year because you know 2020 has literally been the worst year in human existence i mean there wasn't like a war or anything but like pandemics legends dying it's just an old so in this box we have six products the retail value is 142 dollars and without further ado, we're gonna jump right into it. All right, so up first we have the Earth Harbor Glow Juice Refining Enzyme Mask. Describes as a purple paradise, this powerful, fast-acting AHA BHA gel mask naturally resurfaces, cools, and firms the skin, and doubles as a leave-on spot treatment. Vegan and cruelty-free. The girls have been talking about AHAs and BHAs a lot lately. There you go. Up next from Beccalia Botanicals. We have the Sol Himalayan Body Polish. This Himalayan sea salt exfoliates, polishes, and soothes the skin with antioxidant rich sweet almond oil, coconut oil, and shea butter to nourish and veil your body in luxury. That's what it says. So, 
I'm just giving you the vibes. From Sway, we have the Matte J Stick Oil Absorbing Papers. Press these naturally derived blotting papers gently over the face to mattify on the fly. Use after applying creamy makeup to absorb excess oils from the products and help it stay put. Vegan and cruelty free. So these are oil control blotting sheets. Up next from Numa Beauty, we have the Neuro Moisture Intensive Mask. Rehydrate thirsty hair with an extra dose of moisture. New Moisture Intensive Weekly Hydrating Mask seals in moisture while it has an overall condition, strength, and manageability. Vegan and cruelty free. From Eye by Beauty, we have the Everybody Loves Sunday Brunch Palette. It's 12 dreamy and creamy mixed matte dual chrome and shimmer shades infused with rosehip oil to nourish for an extra smooth application vegan and cruelty free and then finally from young blood mineral cosmetics we have the color cray lipsticks in matte and uh, this is an ultra hydrant and retractable lip crayon packed with intense pigment rich and long wear color providing a creamy yet defined beautiful matte finish vegan cruelty free there's also a men's box from fashion stuff so you know in case you're not interested in that you know here's the things for you your bae whoever likes to do things with the things. From 3V Gear, we have the Rogue Neck Gator Face Mask, which is perfect for adventures of all types. This neck gator keeps you protected no matter the time of year or element. Enjoy relief from the sun, heat, cold, insects, and the wind. From Rishiver, from Rishishir, Rishivre, Rishiram, Omegatron, Zekron. From Roche Shea Organics, we have the aftershave treatment. It tones and soothes your skin after shaving for a superior finish. Hyaluronic acid is the secret key ingredient to help smooth fine lines and wrinkles. Formulated to shrink poor visibility, well, to shrink poor visibility, reduce irritation and razor bumps, and leave you with a clean, polished feel post shave. Okay. 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 From Semblance for men, we have the Hemp in Shea Cleansing Body Wash. This gel is richly developed and provides full bubbles, heavy lather, and the perfect amount of moisture without leaving a heavy residue on the skin, enriched with hemp seed oil for nourished, healthy skin. As you can see, I've been using this, so I can, I can attest to this in a sec. From Benkai, that sounds like, um, is that from Bleach? From Benkai, we have the manicure grooming set. Stainless steel portable for your grooming needs on the go. Nail scissors made of professional surgical grade stainless steel. Hard and durable, easy to cut the nail and hair. And then finally we have from the lucky peasant, the one that got away. We have a wool beanie. Keep you warm and in style all winter long with this high quality wool beanie from the Lucky Peasant. So as you guys know, if you've seen these videos, some of the products I try to try beforehand if it requires. So some of the products I will be trying first hand on camera, some products I can't try at all because of certain reasons, we'll get into that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do the things I can do on camera first. And then I'll tell you guys about other products that I've already tried. Something I'm going to start doing with these videos is I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my opinion on the products as I try them. Instead at the end, because you know, rambling. I, I ramble a lot as you clearly can see. I'm also going to give these products ratings as I go. So that you guys don't know if like it's just, oh it's cute to wear or whatever. I'm, I'm going to try to be better about my approach to this. So, let's get started shall we? My face has already been cleansed. We're going to start with skincare. I am going to... Start with the Earth Harbor Glow Juice Refining Enzyme Mask. So this is like a AHA BHA mask. So it's going to exfoliate. It's going to be like a chemical exfoliate. The directions say to apply to clean skin, leave on for three minutes, and rinse. And like I said, it can also be used as a spot treatment, um, one to three times daily or as needed. So. What I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna take my lovely Ghost Waves code Durag, which you guys should all be buying and supporting. Just saying, if you're not supporting, just your trash. Just saying. This looks very liquidy and jelly, so I'm going to apply it with a brush. Why does it smell like a 7 Up? So I will say that this goes on thinly. Cause it's a jelly mask i don't feel any like strong tingling sensations it does feel very cooling 
So that's a plus. So what I'm gonna do is leave this on for three minutes and we will come back. Gotta say, really love that. Like it, it's a quick little mask. It, for the fact that it's being like an AHA, BHA mask, it doesn't feel extremely burning. It doesn't feel tingly. It has a cooling, refreshing feel to it. So I do like that mask. It does dry down quickly. So don't expect to wipe off like a bunch of excess product which is probably why you can use it as a spot treatment on the go. My face does feel cooler. It feels like significantly cooler. And if you guys know me personally, do you know that I sweat a lot? So anything that can like instantly like get my face to cool down, love her. Overall, I do think that the Earth Harbor Glow Juice Mask is a five out of five for me. Moving on, I'm going to actually switch over to the men's box and I'm going to be using the aftershave treatment. Typically you would apply aftershaves literally like right after you shave. I shaved a few days ago, so my skin's still a little, little baby fresh. But this also, based on like the ingredients in the description, also gives the vibe of like a toner. So it's got a hyaluronic acid to hi help hydrate and plump, fill lines, razor burn, irritation, blah, 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 blah. you know, the things that aftershave does, but it also gives the vibes of like a toner. So I'm going to just put my hand, oh, apply that directly to the skin, especially in my beard area. It smells really nice, like, smells really nice, like almost like polo vibes type of scent. With most aftershaves, they tend to have like a, like they can contain a lot of alcohol and be very burning. I don't know if it's the fact that I didn't shave directly before using this or if it's just not that potent in alcohol, but I do like the feel of it. Similar to the way that the enzyme mask felt, it does have like a cooling, refreshing feeling to it. It's not really intense. The skin is looking real nice. The skin is looking real nice. Overall, it feels nice. Uh, my only gripe with this is that I wish that the bottle had like more control to get the product out because it's literally just an open cap. I wish it was like a something to make it easier to come out with. Maybe a sprayer, maybe. I don't know, but that's that's the nature of aftershave, so it's whatever. Um, so with that in mind, I will give that a four out of five. The product itself is great. I just wish the packaging was a bit better, but you know, product itself is really nice. It feels nice, um, and I could see myself using this from here on out. All right, so that's pretty much like the gist of everything I can do on camera. I'm going to do my face, and um, we'll come back and I'll use the eyeshadow palette in the lip crayon and then I'll give you my final thoughts on everything else so okay, okay you guys I'm back I've done my face my base I want to use this sway blotting white so I purposely use an oil based foundation it's the closest face oil so I could use this just to see how it works and it has a clip that you pull and tear on kind of wish that these were pre torn or pre-cut or whatever but whatever so you just take it and blot i mean it's a blotting sheet it's gonna work regardless. i don't know what blotting sheet doesn't work but i don't know this reminds me of matcha for some reason i don't know if this has matcha in it or not oh it is made with matcha this is matcha there we go so yeah this has matcha in it okay i don't have anything to complain about and we'll see if it keeps my oil at bay for the rest of my video all right it's time to zoom in so all right, so we're gonna move into the eyes. We're gonna be using the Eye by Beauty Sunday Brunch Palette. There's actually a palette that this reminds me of by a brand that I no longer support. So, you know, Beauty Bakery. So this palette has a lot of warmer neutral shades, and of course there's everyone's favorite blue that's in a palette. But I am interested in this palette. There's this shade down here, Sunday Funday, which is like a green duochrome, which I have to use. So I'm gonna start with a shade called Short Stack, and it is a mustard shade. We're just gonna be, oh dear God, there's a lot of cake back in this palette, which means I hope there's a lot of pigment. All right, so, so far, I don't know, I don't have an impression on this shade because this shade is literally my complexion right now, but there is a lot of cake back in this. Um, so maybe this shade would do very well if someone paler or fairer than me, but. Oh wait, I see the color now. Okay, this is a nice color. I'm gonna take the shade Bottomless Mimosa. It is like a soft salmon-y. And I'm just going to use that just to build up a little definition. I can tell that this palette is pigmented. Once I get to like shades that are the color of my complexion. All right, next I'm gonna go in with the shade Double Espresso, which is the brown in this palette. 
She doesn't seem too cool. She's not too warm. She's giving neutral vibes. I'm here for it. I'm gonna place this shade in the outer third of the eye and then work it inwards. Let me carve out this lid space. I'm gonna go in with the shade called Matcha. Wait, Ice Matcha, which is a matcha green shade. I'm gonna put it next to Dove Espresso because Avi. Oh, these are pigmented shadows. <laughs> but this is the first non flesh tone shade. And fuck, these are pig. Look at this! Alright, so after putting on that hella pigmented eyeshadow, we're finally gonna go in with the shade Sunday Funday, which is that green gold duochrome that I'm like obsessed with. I'm gonna start with my finger and then use like. A brush to do precision work, but baby girl. All right, so now we're gonna take the shade called Avocado Toast. It's like a silvery greenish gray taupey whatever shade, and I'm gonna put that in the inner corner. And that's cute. Look at that. Look at it. This is a really impressive palette. Like for twenty dollars, the quality, the color, the pigmentation, absolutely. And like, I will legit pick this palette back up and use it again. So we're gonna use FOMO, put that on the lash line, as close to the lash line as possible. And I'm just gonna take it up to about the middle of the eye, maybe a little bit. Okay, this blue actually, yeah, this is actually nice. This is, okay, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is. So now I'm gonna go back in with Iced Matcha. And use that to blend out that blue shade FOMO. To give a little, to like, not give a little, to ground it out, because I don't know how to use words. So I'm gonna take the shade Double Espresso and use that to blend everything from inner to outer lash, or, you know. So there is the eye from the shadow, from the shade, and I got to say, oh, she's giving you blue and gold. And that's all the shadow work I'm going to do. So I'm going to go and put on pretty much everything else except the lip. And uh, we'll talk about the rest of the box. Okay, you guys, so we are back. And um, in terms of the eye, the eyeshadow palette is easily the best eyeshadow palette I've gotten from the box since I've been using the box. So easily, five out of five. Looking back at my face with the setting or the uh, mattifying sheets, Blotting the papers, there we go. It looks fine. Like I said, it looks like any other uh, any other sheet would do. Um, Consider I used a face oil. It definitely kept an oil under control. So that's us. If it was, I would give it a five if they were pre-cut, but since they're not pre-cut, I'll give it a four. To finish, I am going to use the Youngblood Color Crayon Matte Lip Pencil. And the shade is in Valley. And it is a, oh Jesus Lord. I can't use this. I thought this was like red, like a brick red. This is like pink. This is like straight up fuchsia. I'll just, I'll show it on camera for you guys, but I'm literally gonna snatch this off as soon as, I, yeah, that is pink. In terms of the feel of it, it feels fine. It's a crayon. So if your lips are not like fully moisturized or whatever, it will emphasize texture in your lips. But it is like a mineral crayon, so it's gonna give a matte velvet. Uh, feel to it and it feels comfortable it feels fine and the color is intense so in terms of the color and the payoff of it I'll give it a five in terms of like my preference I'll give it two. okay so I'm back um this look didn't need lashes so we're not gonna do lashes so here we are to get into the rest of the products that are in these boxes starting with the beauty box the Bella Co Beck Becca Lee Becca Lea Sorry, girl. The Saul Himalayan Body Polish I have been using. It's one of those body polishes that you have to use when your skin is dry and it feels like really fine sand as opposed to like really gritty, like heavy um, body polishes that I've used before. It's not necessarily a body scrub, so it's not gonna do like what a body scrub would do. But in terms of like polishing the body, 
It's great. I'd give it like a three, three and a half simply because I prefer to use scrubs that I use when my skin is wet. Simply because like of the fear of like tearing. The Numa Beauty Neuro Moisturizer Intensive Mask. I have not used yet. Because of the fact that I just retouched the color on my hair, so like I'm really cautious about putting like any kind of product that might strip the color away. Needless to say, based on the description of it, it sounds like a lovely mask. So I might try it once like this phase is over. Moving over into the men's box, the Gator face mask. Listen, 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 listen. This is obviously a face mask used for the weather. So like if you're someone who's outdoors a lot, who does a lot of stuff in like the heat or in like the like harsh weather conditions. Don't wear this in replacement of an actual mask. Like it's just, I don't know if you can see it on camera, this is a very, like it looks like a thin material. And so this isn't gonna do anything in terms of like COVID protection. But if you're like outside, that's fine. Layer it with a regular mask. The Hemp and Shake Cleansing Body Wash I have been using. This paper says that it is a richly developed improvised full bubbles, but honestly, I don't get that when I use this. I've used it like multiple times and I felt as though I've needed to use a whole lot of product just for it to lather up fully. But I have heard that you're not supposed to use products that lather up as much, so maybe that's why. But it claims that it has a um, full bubbles and heavy lather. And I didn't experience that. I will say it doesn't leave a heavy residue and it does have a nice feel to it. I just feel like my skin's drying out. So I will give it a three because of the fact that it does do half of the claims. But the other half, I just, I don't see it, so. The manicure nail set from Benkai is probably my favorite out of this whole men's box. First of all, the packaging itself, I do like the fact that it's red. I don't know why, but red and black contrast looks really good. The tools inside are all of a like glossy and matte black finish. So that's also great. There's also more tools in here than what most grooming sets would have. They have like an under nail pick, which is great. Um, they have a cuticle pusher in here as well, which some nail kits may or may not have. So ultimately I feel as though this is a good grooming kit. Actually, is this a nail pick or is this like an earwax scooper? Anyway, there's more tools in here than most nail sets. So, um, and there's also a cuticle nipper in here. So that's, that's good. And like I said, it's all very nice quality, stainless steel. Um, Five out of five. And then the wool beanie. It's a beanie. It's cold season. Why not? I mean, if you give me a free beanie, toboggan as I call it, because y'all are not going to try to play me. But um, yeah, that's nice. It, it feels like a wool beanie. It feels like I'm going to get hot under this real quick. So ultimately, fine. Five out of five. Favorite out of the beauty box is the uh, Sunday brunch palette. Also, that Enzyme AHA Glow Juice Mask is really nice. The men's box, it would be the nail set. But um, ultimately, everything feels great. Everything seems like great quality products, so cute. All right, guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you are interested in trying the box or the box for men from Fashion Stay, you can check out the link down in my description below. Um, again, these are products that range up to $150 in retail value. $24.99, free shipping, five to seven full size products, get your judge, buy, treat yourself. Because you know, it's been a shitty year and uh, the holidays and buy, do it. Treat yourself. But that's it for this video, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed yourself, which I hope you did, then go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up, like and support, it means so much. Also, if you want to continue seeing my face on your YouTube feed, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell as well, so that you don't miss the next time I upload. Also, make sure to follow me on all my social media accounts. That is Neon Emuway on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat. Love to have you guys be part of Five Flies family. Loki 2021 is gonna pop off. There's stuff that I can't. Loki 2021 is gonna pop off. Just saying. So follow. Also, support the Dust of Dawn Level Up collections from Midas and Esther and Co. If you see fit, if they're still available, honestly, you should not say that my palette's the best palette. Actually, I am saying it's the best palette in 2020, so buy it. If not, spread the word. Maybe somebody will get it for you as a late Christmas present. Maybe somebody will buy it to you for Valentine's Day. You never know. Just, just.
see. That is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And um, until next time, until 2021, or next week, if you're watching this on a different day, watch some more videos. Watch the other unboxings of the box and. Yeah. This has been a really scattered brain video, I know, but just bear with me, okay?